Hi, my name is Elisa, and I'm a maternal and child healthcare nurse for the City of Port Phillip. Today I'm going to talk about introducing solids to your baby. This can be a very exciting time for some parents and may also create some anxiety for others. Within this short PowerPoint presentation, I am hoping to provide useful evidence-based information as well as allay some normal fears parents may have to make this new stage of your baby's development a more enjoyable one. So today I'm going to run through some of the reasons why we start solids, when do we start solids, what equipment we might need, and how to get started, and which foods, and how to progress from there. Some of the other topics I'm going to cover today are allergies, choking, what to drink, teeth care, and the nutritional element of foods. So firstly, why to start solids? Well, a baby's born with adequate stores of iron, but stores are becoming depleted after six months. The baby's ready to begin exploring the world of food, ready to commence an educational diet, which is a learning experience for babies, and babies ready for the social interaction food provides. So when to start solids? Well, guidelines tell us around six months of age. It all depends on the baby's readiness though. Some babies start earlier and some aren't ready until six months. But overall, you wanna be looking for signs of readiness. So what are the signs of readiness? Well, when they're showing interest in food. So you might find that if you're sitting at the dining room table and they're in the vicinity, that they're watching you and interested and really watching what you're doing and keen to have what you're having. So the absence of tongue protrusion, so they're not automatically spitting food out when it's presented to them. So they might be even reaching out and grabbing for food when they're really, really interested. And they might appear hungrier. They should have good head control and ideally opening their mouth when food's offered. So what equipment might you need? Well, you need a baby. You need a high chair, a five-point harnessed high chair, thinking safety, a plastic cup. There's a million types on the market. So it's a matter of trial and error and see what your baby likes and will drink from readily a bowl, a spoon, but also your baby's hands. There's nothing wrong with your baby experimenting with food and that's also part of their development as well. So how do we get started? Well, milk feeds are still very important, so they're not changed. So continue to breastfeed or offer your formula first and then introduce food. Teaspoon at a time, gradually increasing as your baby is interested and wants more. Offer what the family's having. Ideally, by 12 months, you wanna be offering family foods. Currently, there's no evidence to support the order of food is commenced. So you can try vegetables, you can try fruit, you can have cereal, uh, you can try chunks of watermelon, for instance. There's no real evidence to say that you should be strictly starting with one and then moving on to the other. So how do we get started? Well, firstly, milk feeds don't change. So breastfeed or give formula, and then after, start the solids. So teaspoon at a time, gradually increasing to what your baby will tolerate. Offer what the family is having. Currently, there's no evidence to support the order of food. So you can start with fruit, vegetables, meat, so long as it's minced and, and age appropriate, uh, or you can start with cereals, up to you. So here are some other considerations to think about. So like I said before, there's no order of food. Offer at a rate that suits your baby and offer a variety of foods from the five food groups. So offer purees after a milk feed, then progress quickly to mashed, minced, chopped, and then ideally finger foods by the time that your baby's about eight months, even before for some families, depending on the finger food. So start with tastes, spoonfuls at first, and increase with time and practice. Build up from once a day to two meals and then three, depending on your child. So some tips for trying new foods. So offer a new food in small amounts. Offer a new food with one that your child already likes. It can take 10 to 15 exposures to a new food before your child accepts it. Your child might actually dislike the food initially, but that's okay. Keep trying and you never know, by the seventh or eighth time, they might really enjoy it. So steps to eating, so interact with your baby, make it fun, make it relaxed if you can, and make it an enjoyable experience for you all. Your baby will pick up on all these things. Um, smell, so your baby will be smelling, a bit like using our senses when we eat as well. So smell, touch, taste, and then eat. They're exploring. So here's some finger food ideas from around six months. 
always supervise and soften hard foods. For instance, this little baby there has got some carrots and some zucchini and some pasta, perfect foods. You could grate some cheese, uh, you could chop up some watermelon, nice and soft so your baby will be able to swallow it and it's less of a choking risk. So by eight months, shared family meals is the idea. You wanna be choosing from the five food groups. Role modeling is important and healthy choices. So make mealtimes positive. Enjoy mealtime together as a family. Try and remain calm if you can, nice and relaxed. Make it an enjoyable experience for you all. Remember that your child will learn by example. Avoid pressuring your child to eat. Allow them to decide. Avoid distractions at mealtimes such as television, mobile phones, and rewarding them with toys. Remember, it's your job to offer baby food. It's their job to decide how much they eat. You provide, they decide. So choking, everybody's worst nightmare. Choking is different from gagging. Choking's silent, gagging's noisy. A baby chokes when something gets stuck in the back of their throat and blocks their breathing. You can tell your baby's choking if he cannot breathe, cough or cry. Some of the dangerous foods include raw vegetables, whole grapes, popcorn nuts, raisins, dried fruit, some lollies, including lollipops, marshmallows, and jelly beans. So prevention of choking, stay with your child while they eat and let them feed themselves at their own pace. Always ensure your child is seated whilst eating. It's not a bad idea for all parents to learn CPR. So here's a slide from the Raising Children's Network on how to stop choking. So you notice your child's choking. The first thing you're going to do is call triple zero. What you will do is pick up your child and give five back blows. So turning them on your lap, for instance, and delivering five back blows, turning them around. You can do five chest blows, upward chest blows or thrusts. And then you can see just gently, if you can see whatever the obstruction is in their mouth and carefully try and take that out, taking care not to push it down further. So allergies, another area of concern when starting solids for your babies. Most food allergies are not life-threatening and usually it's rapid onset within th the first 30 minutes. So skin reactions such as hives, eczema, swelling of the face. There's tummy reactions as well, such as vomiting and diarrhea, all to be considered and all to be followed up with your GP or if there's any involvement in the in swelling in the tongue, swelling of the face, call triple zero. So some allergy prevention tips. So to help prevent food allergy, give the common allergy causing foods before they turn one. So this includes eggs, fish, peanuts, tree nuts. So they're your Brazil, your cashew, your walnuts. Luckily these days there's lovely paste that you can choose from from the supermarket. Uh, macadamia, another one. Uh, cow's milk, soy, wheat, shellfish and sesame. There is evidence to say that delaying introducing foods may increase rather than decrease allergy. Breastfeeding should be continued while solid foods, allergens, are introduced to the infant. So start with small amounts and gradually increase the amount each time. Once introduced, continue to regularly include these foods in your baby's diet. So what about teeth? Well, clean teeth as soon as they emerge. Drinking well, so water and milk are the best drinks for children. Children over 12 months do not need bottles. Brush well, low fluoride toothpaste can be used from 18 months and eat well. So drink, so what should your baby be drinking? So water after six months, so when you're starting solids, introduce cooled boiled water in a sippy cup ideally, uh, milk in the form of full cream cow's milk after 12 months, no juice ideally, please, no juice. <laughs> and here are some of the resources that you can take a look at in your own time. If you would like more information or a more detailed explanation, you can contact your MCHN or if you're a resident of the City of Port Phillip, feel free to join us at the South Melbourne Market for the informal session we offer regarding starting solids for your baby or even for your fussy toddlers. These sessions are held on the third Wednesday of the month in the food hall and run from 9.30 until 11 o'clock. Bookings are via your MCHN or via the COP MCH website.